Hey guys, what's happening? So, man, I have, uh, with this cruel coronavirus thing, I'm just stuck at home, so I'm just trying to do, uh, maintenance on all these things I haven't had a chance to get to, so, what you see in front of you is my 60-gallon air compressor, I bought this about 10 years ago, obviously at Sears, and it's actually been flawless, you know, for 10 years, haven't had to really do anything to it, and I'm kind of embarrassed to say that I haven't changed the oil in 10 years either, so, I mean, about once a year, I'd look to top it off, maybe. But really, it's... I mean, this thing doesn't run all the time. It's... I'm doing projects, you know, on my air impacts or whatever. Grinders or whatever. But, uh, yeah, it's been flawless for 10 years. 240 volt. Um, nice compressor, you know? So, I've been pretty lucky so far without any major issues. So, what I wanted to do was uh, change the oil, finally. Like I said, I haven't done that in 10 years. So, I got this PowerMate... PX, fully synthetic stuff, and this is actually what I used 10 years ago. And actually, what, that's what I've been topping it off with. But, um, yeah, it should be pretty basic. Just pull this off. Drain the oil, and I also want to check the belt tension back there, so I have to get a ladder. Get back there. And then also this uh, air filter element here, too. So, alright, so yeah. Let's get it going. So I'm going to first change the oil, and uh, get a couple of wrenches here to twist those off, and all right, this looks pretty good. It's still full, and like I said, the oil looks, the color looks pretty good. So, I'm trying to do this one hand here, but uh, yeah, you don't have to change. It's not like a car, you know. I mean, you're not burning gas and building carbon in there, you know. So it's you don't have to change as much as a car. But yeah, ten years. All right, I'm let this go and uh, let's check out this air conditioner. Okay. Oh. I said I've never even opened this up before, so I'm not gonna get a new air filter element. I'm just gonna once my air compressor is back online, I'm just gonna blow it back out, reverse blow it out. Uh, all right, cool. Okay, so pour this in there. A little tiny little funnel here. Oh, super clear. You know, it's going to keep on pouring in until it overflows out of the top there. Okay, we're at the top. It only took a few ounces though, not very much. You can see that in the light. Alright, let's see, make sure we're at the top. Yep, super clear. Alright, get the cap. Alright, so now I'm going to check the belt here. I already got the cover off. Kind of sucks, it's in a bad spot. I have the back side of it here, so. Looking for is just the quality. See, if there's any rips in it and the tension. All right, let's see. The tension seems like it's pretty good. Yeah, I never had a problem with the belt slipping, so. Um, but yeah, surprisingly, after 10 years, not bad. Made in China. All right. So yeah, this is 10 years old, so they were already making stuff in China. I wonder if this thing is made, but I don't know. Nah, no, last thing I gotta do is drain this tank. Yeah, there's a little ton of water on this thing. Kinda sucks I can't get a jar down there. So I'm just gonna put a towel and soak it up. Alright, so a lot of water came out, but the good news is it wasn't rusty colored water. I mean, just a little bit in the very end. That's definitely a good sign. So one of the last things I wanna do is put some of this corrosion stop on there. Right there. Alright. Puts like a really thick coating of anti rust. It's actually mainly for boats and stuff. Alright. I just want to make sure that doesn't rust down there where it gets all the water. Alright, tank is full. Looking pretty good. So, hopefully, it lasts another 10 years. We'll see. Awesome.